And there are new developments tonight regarding the White House leak scandal. Now, you may recall a number of top secret programs and data has been disclosed to reporters in recent months by, quote, an unnamed Obama insider. Now, Republicans, Democrats alike have publicly stated that the release of this information has, in fact, put American lives in danger. As a result, the attorney general, Eric Holder, has appointed two U.S. attorneys to look into the matter. However, Republicans continue to demand that an outside special prosecutor be named to lead the investigation. Also tonight, Democratic insider Pat Cadell is pulling no punches and naming names. He says he knows exactly who spoke to The New York Times, and it is somebody with extremely close ties to President Obama. Listen to this. I'll make news for you. The culprit is clear. It's Tom Donlan, the national security advisor. Tom Donlan is a political hack. He was a political operative. He was the delegate counter for Carter and then Mondale. And he is now running around, and he was also the guy working with Jim Johnson, corrupting Fannie Mae. And somehow he's national security advisor, and he is known in Washington as the leaker in chief. All right, Cadell's allegation is critical to this investigation because Tom Donilon is the man who leads the presidential daily briefing each and every day inside the Oval Office. And that suggests to me that as this investigation continues, we may ultimately find out that the president himself was the one who, in fact, authorized the release of this highly classified information. And here on more of this growing scandal, the author of the number one bestseller, Demonic Ann Coulter, and the man you just heard from, former Democratic pollster, Fox News contributor, Pat Cadell. You're a Democrat. You're saying definitively you know. I didn't say I definitively know. I said I definitively who it was. You know, <laughs> that's the difference. Hey, look, uh, you know, Diane Feinstein, and remember, this is not any ordinary leaks. This is, as she said, putting American foreign policy and, and American lives in jeopardy. The New York Times review of Mr. Sanger's book by Thomas Ricks, who is the one of the Pulitzer Prize winning Wall Street Journal and Washington Post foreign expert, defense expert. In his interview, in his review in the New York Times, he says, and throughout Mr. Sanger clearly has enjoyed great access to senior White House officials, most noticeably Tom Donlan. Mr. Donlan is, in effect, the hero of the book as well as the chief commentator on records of events. And it's all about this stuff. When Gates, when we had the disclosure of SEAL Team 6, Robert Gates went to the White House, saw Tom Donlan and said, I have a new communication strategy. You know what it is? Keep your effing mouth shut. This stuff is, Tom Donnell's known for this. He is a political operative, as you heard in my remarks. He's no, you, when you think of the job that's been held by McGeorge Bundy, Spigny Brzezinski, Brent Scrocroft, you know, the whole host of people, Cond Condoleezza Rice, Colin Powell, this is a person whose job was to be a delegate counter now, and, in a, this, and is this, a political this, person. This is important, and because it's, it's what did they know, when did they know it, but this was all designed, all these leaks make the president look good, supposedly. Right, and with all due respect, I really don't think it matters who leaked it. It is coming from the Obama White House. And who leaked SEAL Team 6 to brag about killing Osama bin Laden? That came out of the president's mouth. And as Pat just mentioned, military and intelligence officials were going ballistic over that. And for a reason, two weeks later, a plane, a helicopter shot out of the sky in Afghanistan and what is it? It's SEAL Team 6. It is because of, I mean, leaking in the, by the United States government generally has been bad. It's always much worse under the Democrats. Other leaks that have come out that have hurt. Um, in order to brag about Obama killing Osama bin Laden, they have to talk. Hang so you're interrupting me. They had to brag so about what? the help they got from a Pakistani <laughs> I'm not George pharmacist. Stephanopoulos, you know. From a Pakistani pharmacist, and he has just been sentenced to 33 yes. years in, in prison. In the there Yemenis. is the one more, the Saudi, um, who was our uh, the double agent. He was the Saudi's double agent working with us um, in in um, the, the the Arabian Peninsula. He reveals this bomb that's about to be sent right. to the United States. Is, He's now on the run because he he his you, name. You're right is about released. the Pakistani. Well, but, but this is important because this is the president in the Oval Office every Tuesday morning deciding who's going to be the next victim of a U.S. drone attack. This is also about Iran and the fact that we were able to, according right. to this book, penetrate their nuclear facilities and drive their computer systems. And, 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 and who is really bananas about this? The Israelis, because they invited us in on they the program. It. Well, well, right, it was the, their, you have it was to. Their program. They have to. You're it was right. their program. The fact, though, is that you have them sitting here, and that's why, the, if you look at Sanger's book, it's all Donlin's doing. It's the big chapter there. And I will tell you this. Let me say something about the president. You know, when, when his New York Times, and that's what it is, he could have called them up. They call Fox all the time, say, right. we don't like what you're going to do. 
they could have called up as President right. Kennedy did and said, do not do this. Jay Carney could have called. Is there any evidence whatsoever the president said no, this would damage this our... Of course they do. And if it, you know, I say, right. if it looks like a duck and walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, right, it's let me go a to duck. This is important. Think of how the Democrats reacted to the whole Valerie Plame issue. Oh, I know. And she wasn't even a covert no, operative. I know. And look, what, look at the special prosecutor, right. look at Scooter Libby. You know, this well, is infinitely things. worse. This it's is pointless super secret. to have um, a special prosecutor here. They're doing this to brush this under the rug until after the election. Point two is when the New York Times is printing um, classified intelligence information under a Republican in administration is to make the Republican administration look bad. When they're doing it under a Democrat administration, they're doing it to make the Democrat look good. Obama is all of these all of these articles have been like love letters to Obama. And, oh, what a tough commander in chief he is, and look how tough he is in on terrorism. He's putting people in jeopardy. These poor saps we persuaded to trust the United States of America, and now they are on the run, in prison, or dead. And here's the wait, political wait, 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 thing. That's wait, because Anne of him right leaking this. But Anne, Somebody, if, if in fact we were able to pull this off in this Iranian nuclear facility, somebody walked that in there. Right. That didn't just end up getting into their system. That's no, right. No. So that means, what's that? That's right, because they needed to put in those, you know, what you stick in the computers. So now those, that double uh, agent thumbs. is in jeopardy. Whatever. He could be dead. But the the don't trust the United the States anymore. As long, and unfortunately, the rest of the world doesn't understand Look, you can trust us when a Republican's in the White House. You just can't when a Democrat I'm not going to make it partisan. And this element, this is really disastrous. And one of the things is in 2010, just before the election, Tom Donlan sat there and orchestrated the cartridge bomber incident as a public event when they had already solved it. It was to make influence the election. He is a politician. He is not national security expert. Now, it's like me being an astronaut. But I'll tell you, there are political dangers the president. As we saw with gay marriage, when 60 some percent of the people said they thought he did it for political reasons and the same kind of reaction about him overtaking over credit for the bin Laden. Yes. There are many people in this country. I've seen the polls. A severe number of people, including many Democrats, independents, think he is willing to do whatever he could takes to get reelected, even if it's, it hurts right. the needs now, of the country. We, we got this last question, which is very key. How big does this get? Because it, it, you know, compare anything. I mean, those that have made comparisons to Iran Contra. Um, how big a deal is this if, in fact, the president and his team or within his administration are leaking information that is putting people's lives in jeopardy just to make him look good in an election year? Because that's what this allegation is. How big a deal does this become? How does this impact the race? Well, I think it's huge, but the way it gets out is only through shows like this, no, Sean Hannity. It Congress. is not from the spot special prosecutor, perhaps through the Congress, but the point is it doesn't matter who it, leaked it. It is coming from the White House to make Obama it, look good. That, it that's comes, the key comes that's from the key his point. mouth. That, that's, that's the key point. And yeah. Look, that's all it. they've got to do is they've got to bring it in the Congress. Look, you've got a special, these special prosecutors. One of them has been a contributor to Obama since 2003 when he was in the state Senate, for God's sake. And the other one and works Eric, for Clinton. And Eric Holder is, you know, we know how he does what he does politically. It's like John Mitchell for re-election. It is. And, but, you know, the Senate and the House can call these people, put them under oath and do their own investigation. I mean, like and that's Eric what Holder they should Fast do. And Furious, right. He may be held in contempt. Yeah, well, the same that guy who's, who's oh. doing the other. Yes. All right. You know what I think about him. And Coulter. It's so good to see. Did you have fun on uh, this week? Because this week I you were very. Did. Van Jones was, is your next best, was, best friend. My, he's my new best friend. Oh, good grief! Yeah. Van uh, and Van I'm were great I'm going to turn together. him into a Republican. The Ann and Van I, show. Oh, I hope he doesn't hear that. <laughs> I don't think so. I'll take that bet. All right. Um, the Ann and Van. And my show first was great. interview, October first. New book will be right here. Right here with Ann Coulter. All right, guys. Good to see you. Great. Uh, pretty scary stuff. Yeah.